Industrial production processes account for a considerable share of the overall pollution in Europe. 50,000 industrial and large-scale farming installations across Europe use energy, water and raw materials to operate. As part of its processes, they also produce emissions to water, air and soil. Each member state is responsible to grant operating permits to the installations, but in order to assure environmental and health standards for all European places and people, common technical standards agreed at European level must be met. Those standards are elaborated by the European Integrated Pollution Prevention and Control Bureau. Environmental technical standards, the BAT conclusions, the best available techniques conclusions, are established through a process that lasts between two to three years and involve around 40 to 200 experts. So member states, industry representatives, environmental organization uh, promoting the protection of the environment and of course services of the Commission among which the Joint Research Centre, which leads the process, but also DG Environment, Energy and DG Enterprise. Best available technique reference documents, BREFs, are the main reference documents used by competent authorities in EU countries when issuing operating permits. The BREFs as a tool, they are applicable to all Europe, to all European countries. So this is basically a tool that will be used by regulators to understand how they should integrate the technology choices and also techniques choices when they develop new sites or when they improve existing sites. Well, the information flow starts with obviously the uh, official announcement uh, of the Commission intending to uh, develop this BREF. Uh, and then obviously as an industry you should take your precautions, inviting the, the stakeholders uh, then there is the uh, request and the data collection uh, of the Bureau uh, and then uh, there is uh, information exchange in, in, in the process uh, and then there is this final uh, technical working group meeting. So I think uh, now we also need to have the economic and feasibility concerns uh, to come to a good conclusion at the end of this week. In this process, um, data is crucial and my role, for example, is to know very well which data was delivered to the process. Uh, you have to imagine uh, there are many parameters and many techniques that are discussed in one day and if an issue comes up, then you have to be very aware of what has been gathered the last two years and what is uh, best techniques that are on the table. The uh, technical process also uh, is based uh, um, on the technical economic information. These are very well checked before the submitting to the IPPC Bureau and uh, needs to be shared with, within the old TVG in order to be used for the arriving uh, and uh, drawing up this kind of uh, documents. These decisions are consensual, is very important in the process and probably make this process unique uh, for EU industry. The environmental NGOs um, are 140 of all Europe. Um, they have limited uh, capacities to collect their own information. They have freedom of information access that is uh, clearly defined in the Aarhus Convention so they can ask the permit authorities about um, emission levels. But of course they don't know very much about the inside of a technique and of an industry. We use our expert expertise developed in other subjects uh, in this uh, Sevilla process to support and, uh, and work uh, with the French Ministry of Environment to regulate uh, installations concerned. So we believe that in principle the European process is a good way forward the main thing is to guarantee that the technical discussion can happen with enough knowledge from all the parties involved so that we get into a realistic and pragmatic solution. This results in a greener European industry that shares high environmental standards while remaining competitive. Finally, it also allows European citizens to live healthier lives.